Welcome to this presentation on the first steps to take when a MagPix instrument is malfunctioning. Unfortunately, if you are watching this, it means your MagPix is having some sort of problem. Fortunately, there are a few simple steps that can resolve most issues seen on the MagPix instrument. Not every issue can be solved using these steps, but the built-in processes have been engineered to help with the most common errors. If these steps don't fix the issue, advanced troubleshooting will be required. And Luminex's technical support department will be happy to help you continue troubleshooting your instrument. These steps will only take a few minutes and can solve issues such as low or no microsphere count, clogs, sample carryover, bubbles in the line, certain fluid leaks, and many other issues you might experience while using the MagPix instrument. We will use this flowchart to guide our troubleshooting. The first step when getting errors on the MagPix instrument is to run a calibration and verification cycle. If you're not sure how to run the calibration and verification routine, refer to the corresponding video on the support tab of the MagPix instrument page at www.luminexcorp.com. By completing the calibration and verification cycle, you're verifying the hardware is working properly. The instrument goes through all the same functions as when running an assay, with the added bonus of ensuring optimal and consistent microsphere classification, as well as a properly functioning analyzer when you are done. If the calibration and verification cycle completes with no errors, the hardware for the MagPix instrument is working properly. If your assays are still reporting abnormal readings after this step, review the assay instructions carefully. To further verify the hardware is functioning properly, a self-test can be run, but isn't necessary. If the calibration and verification cycle fails, note the error before going to the next step in case technical support needs to be called after completing basic troubleshooting. The second step in the basic troubleshooting for your MagPix instrument is to run the self-test. Again, if you're not sure how to do this, refer to the corresponding video on the support tab of the MagPix instrument page. The self-test will check all hardware functions. Any problems will be detected. If the self-test fails, collect the error and call technical support. Advanced troubleshooting is required. For more information on getting the error, refer to the support video. If the self-test passes, the hardware is working properly. But there's one additional step that can be taken to self-resolve issues with your MagPix instrument. Cleaning the sample probe is the last step in basic troubleshooting. It includes sonicating and or flushing the sample probe, adjusting the sample probe height, then running a system clean. This step requires a calibration verification once completed. Removing the probe to clean it does two things. First, it removes any clogs the probe may have, and second, resets the probe height when you replace the probe. Both of these can cause issues with the proper functioning of the MagPix instrument. For instructions on how to remove the probe and clean it, see the Cleaning Sample Probe video on the Support tab of the MagPix instrument page or refer to the MagPix User's Guide. This video also includes adjusting sample probe height. Once the sample probe height has been set, run a system clean using sodium hydroxide. For detailed instructions on how to run the system clean function, use the Run System Clean video. This will resolve most clog and verification issues. After the probe height is set and a clean cycle is performed, running a calibration and verification cycle will show if this step was successful. If this step didn't resolve the issue, then advanced troubleshooting will need to be performed on your MagPix instrument. Having completed these steps will allow Luminex technical support to start advanced troubleshooting immediately. Let's review the steps for basic troubleshooting on the MagPix instrument. If you are experiencing issues with your instrument, one, run a calibration and verification cycle. If this doesn't work, two, run a self-test. If any errors are reported, call technical support. If the self-test passes, three, remove the probe, clean it, then replace it and make a height adjustment. Run a system clean. Then run another calibration and verification cycle to see if the problem is resolved. If not, advanced troubleshooting will be needed by Luminex technical support. Most issues with the MagPix instrument can be resolved quickly and easily. These simple steps can take as few as 10 minutes to get your MagPix instrument working properly without engaging technical support. And if you do need to call Luminex technical support, you will have already completed the first troubleshooting steps and can get to a resolution more quickly. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the basic troubleshooting steps for the MagPix instrument. MagPix, multiply the power of your potential. Luminex, multiplex solutions for life.